Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thor, and in today's video, I would like to talk about vulnerability. Vulnerability, the art of, in many ways, revealing your true self, your true feelings, the things you feel and think, but that you are not always comfortable expressing to other people. And vulnerability is a tricky concept, and it's related to uh, Jung's idea of the masculine or feminine other, the anima or the animus. Jung believed that we all had a masculine or feminine version of ourselves. And uh, how do we understand the concept of the anima or the animus? Sometimes it is believed that the anima or the animus is the inferior function. I don't think that's entirely correct. I think that the anima or the animus represents something we value, something we think, something we feel, something we hold to be true, something we think is right, but something that we don't always dare to say, or something we don't feel sure of, or something we worry about, or something we feel uncertain about. And so, to me, the anima or the animus better correlates with the muse, or the inspiring function. Vulnerability and inspiration are often two sides of the same coin, and it is typically when we are able to be vulnerable that we are able to get inspiration. Vulnerability is the expression of letting other people know the things you feel, the things you care about, but that you don't share because it is outside your comfort zone. And we all have these things, we all have these thoughts that we are afraid of sharing with the world. What is it you are afraid of sharing with the world? Has there been something you've been thinking about? Has there been something that you care about recently? Which you didn't act upon? Because it wasn't you. This concept of you is important to recognize. You have a comfort you, which makes out the things you value and care about that feel easy and natural for you to express. Things you can say and things that you know that you can do and things you can be that you know is okay and acceptable. Things that you can do, things that you can express that you know is comfortable for you, that you feel confident in doing, that you feel confident sharing. The things you feel confident about sharing and expressing that you care about and that you value represent your flow functions or your hero state or your natural state. But the things that you care about, that you find important and meaningful, but you don't feel confident in expressing, that is your repressed masculine or feminine side, your anima, your animus. Being vulnerable is a fascinating experience because it's anxiety-inducing to say the least. It feels difficult to share it and to express it with other people. It feels unsettling and it feels like you are losing control as you express it. You feel like when you share it, when you do it, when you act upon it, you are losing control. You are showing other people your insecurity. And in doing so, you are showing other people your weakness. So the muse state, the vulnerable function, the anima or the animus is something we protect and nurture and care for. We are constantly asking ourselves, can I be real with this person? Can I be vulnerable with this person? What would happen if I shared my insecurities and my worries with this person? 
would they accept it? Would they tolerate it? Would they allow us to be real with them? Now, typically, the way we guard the vulnerable function is through the rival state. When we feel like our repressed feminine other is threatened, we go into the rival mode. We go, we tense up. We go into conflict mode. We go into protection mode, self-protection mode. We strengthen our self-resolve. We find, um, we lash out. We speak up. We say things that we don't really feel. We say things we don't really believe in. We express things we don't really care about. We create false truths about ourselves. The rival brings up insecurities and anxieties that have nothing to do with what we really care about, that we really feel. We make ourselves act and appear as if something we are not in order to deflect from what it is we are trying to protect, what it is that makes us feel vulnerable. And vulnerability and being vulnerable is all about being able to make sure that this rival state doesn't hide from other people and from yourself who you really are. When in this rival state, we are not ourselves. We are the stress us. We are the anxiety us. We are the armored up, the protective, the, cr the shielded, the aggressive version of ourselves that we are not really in reality. Now, An important question to ask yourself is, well, the kind of issue of the ego. The ego, of course, is who you are at the moment, what you feel comfortable in doing, what you feel confident in being. The role and the image that you put up, the things you do, the things you say that you do care about, that you do find meaningful. Or that you don't find meaningful at all. There are things in the ego, things we believe about ourselves that we don't really care about. There are things that we think we are good at, things that we think we are skilled at, things we feel confident in, things that we feel calm by doing, that give us no sense of value, no sense of meaning, no gratification, nothing. And yet we still do it. Why do we do it? This is what brings up the autopilot. The things in your ego, the things you hold true about yourself, your comfort zone, the things in your comfort zone that are numbing, boring, deadening, represent your autopilot or your zombie state. Now what you should ask yourself is, what are the things that I'm holding on to that bring me no joy, that bring me no meaning? What are the things I believe about myself, that I think about myself, that hold no value to me? Because there is an issue, a big issue, in the sense that you are acting on and doing things that hold no meaning to you, and an ego that acts in a way that gives no value to the ego is quite pointless. The point of what you are and who you are is to closely represent what you believe, what you care for, what is important to you. The ways you have learned about yourself, how you have chosen to act, what you have chosen to do, is only good insofar as that it can guide you to what you care about, to what means something to you. So tuning out of the autopilot and being, being vulnerable 
and doing things outside your comfort zone and saying things that other people might judge you for or some things that you might be scared of expressing or doing things that you care for or dream of but feel is not you is the point of exploring yourself and finding yourself and being true to you who you are and hopefully this can help explain the four different states we are in the flow and balance of doing things we love that gives us comfort and security of being who we are the vulnerability of the muse state of inspiration of exploring things that are foreign to us in ways that are unusual to us in ways that give us meaning and energy the self-protection we engage in through the rival state through our opposite functions the comfort and stability offered by the autopilot state that we engage in because well out of habit really without thinking about it without realizing it just because it's easy the managing of these states all turns out to be about how you manage stress and anxiety how true you are able to be to yourself in your current environment or your current life situation how good you are at pursuing what you love and what gives you meaning and how often you hide from and do things you hate and things you don't like because it's easy or because you want to protect yourself from being hurt hopefully this video can bring up some questions in you about who you really are because I think with our personality type we can get attached attached to things we think are true about our type that we don't really enjoy and if we don't really enjoy it maybe it's not our type perhaps it can bring up some things you have learned in yourself that doesn't make you feel good and perhaps it can teach you something about who you are and what your true type code means that's all for today I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys tomorrow at well the same time as today probably <laughs>